Good morning, guys. So it is now 8:30 in the morning. I've been up since 4 a.m. today because they dropped the reed colorway of the Sakai blazers, and well, it was 12 o'clock EST, which is 4 a.m. here. So I woke up for that, and I can't believe I managed to cop it. Like. I was so not expecting it because you guys know that with the course one site it's always a little bit difficult to cop and I haven't been successful in the past. I think I've only ever managed to cop one thing from the course one site. So I was so so surprised because with the read colorway that one is a course one and Sakai like Sakai Japan exclusive. And of course I had to wake up to try and I was like half awake or like half asleep when I was trying to cop that because I woke up like 3.50 like 10 minutes before the drop just to get myself ready you know get onto the site and just make sure I have like all my details ready um, and yeah and I managed to cop so I'm so so happy it was US shipping only so I actually shipped it to one of my subscribers so that he can forward it to me because you guys know I don't have a US address. My brother used to live in Philadelphia, but he's moved out. I mean, he's moved away. Well, what am I trying to say? He's moved to Singapore now, so I no longer have an address that I can ship stuff to. And also, I can't believe I won the supply raffle for the purple colorway. So let me show you guys. I was so, so surprised. Look at this. When I saw the congratulations, I was like, <gasps> I got it because <laughs> there were two other colorways that dropped in these blazers and I didn't get them at all like I didn't win the raffle for them so I was like a little bit sad and I was thinking like surely out of the four colorways I will win a raffle for at least one of them so I'm so grateful that I won the raffle at supply so I'm actually gonna go pick it up later today I'll bring you guys along with me I can't film in the store though because supply is pretty like strict with that stuff. They open at 10 o'clock today, so I am just, you know, I got ready. I'm just waiting around for the store to open and then we will go pick them up. I'm so happy. I mean, the blue and red colorway dropped maybe a week or two ago. And from what I know, the resale isn't that high, which is a good thing. So if you weren't able to get it for retail, you know, the resale is quite reasonable. But I still haven't seen a pair in person and I haven't seen anyone wearing them so i'm so so excited to finally get to see one like in hand today which is the purple colorway <clears throat> sorry um with the read colorway it is like being shipped to an address in the us and then from the us it would get to me so it might take a while but it's no rush i'm just so so grateful that I managed to get that one because that is definitely the one I wanted the most out of the four colorways. Um, but yeah, so I'm so happy right now. But anyway, while I'm here, I thought I'll also do a quick little unboxing because we still have a little bit of time. Um, in my last video, I showed you guys the Moda colorway. So these are the Pada Amex ones. They already dropped the maroon colorway and I think the black one is also dropping really soon. But one of my amazing subscribers, Craig, I really hope you're watching this, um, sent these to me and I'm so, so grateful. I tried to get these on the Pada site when they released. I mentioned it briefly. It was... Was it the night where I was trying to carve a pumpkin? I can't remember. It was a while ago. And I attempted to like try on the Pada side. And I was pretty confident that I was going to get it. But I didn't. And then after that, I kind of was like, okay, it's fine. And then I picked up the Monarch colorway. And then... Craig sent me these. He actually also sent me the Monarch colorway because I didn't know that that was coming my way. And so I had already purchased the Monarch colorway because I wanted those and he kind of just read my mind. So I'm so, so happy. Craig, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much because I really, really love these. So this is the Noise Aqua. Oh, Aqua Noise. I can't, yeah, Noise Aqua. I keep saying the wrong names. Um, but... 
this is what they look like. I'm sure you guys already know what they look like. I love the Monarch colorway that I have. I have been wearing them quite a bit, so I'm so, so happy to add this to my rotation. I think this colorway is also so nice. In terms of ranking the colorways of the Pada MX1, I would say the Monarch is my favorite. This is the second. I don't really know how I feel about the maroon one. Based on the photos, it looks a little bit like metallic and the upper and the maroon colorway looks like leather not nubuck i really really love the materials on this sneaker and then also the black colorway will be dropping soon i can't quite remember the date but it is really really soon so i am really happy with the monarch in this colorway so yeah craig thank you so much i cannot thank you enough and i cannot wait to wear these because it is summer here now in australia i mean it's not like super hot we get a few hot days but recently it's sort of been a little bit rainy and like kind of cool which i don't mind um but i think next week it's gonna be super super hot but anyway i'm getting off topic in terms of sizing i would say that these fit true to size so with the monarch colorway i got it in my true to size which is a men's us 6 and they fit fine they did feel a little bit snug around the toe box area the first day i was wearing it um, but now I think maybe I've worn them in and they feel really good So I think you could definitely go true to size with these particular Amex ones These however are in a men's US 6.5 which is actually the size I would prefer I generally go half a size up from my true to size most of the time Just to be on the safe side if that makes any sense because I just don't know how certain sneakers fit And I would rather have my sneakers a little bit too big than too small. I cannot stand uncomfortable sneakers or uncomfortable footwear. I mean there was a time back in the day where I used to wear like super uncomfortable like heels or boots or whatever but we no longer have time for that okay. I'm just here to be comfy in my sneakers. So yeah these are six and a half. I haven't tried them on just yet but I'm sure they will fit me well so i'm so excited to actually wear these and put a fit together for you guys also in that parcel that he sent me this was in there i hope this oh wait it's upside down this is the cause holiday japan um chopsticks i didn't even know like they dropped this product so here you guys can see they're the two like cause crosses and i love it i can't decide if i actually want to use these but i feel like i shouldn't because they're wooden and i feel like the more you use it maybe like it might change color and you know it just will not look that brand new anymore so i might just hold on to it but i'm so so happy because yeah you guys know i love anything coarse and i feel like this year especially he's had so many collabs and I'm just like, Brian, just take my money, okay? Take it! Um, but yeah, what was I trying to say? Oh, I also want to show you guys. Wait, wait, one sec. So I've had this for weeks now. And I told you guys that I was going to like do kind of a perfume review. Kind of, not really. But you guys know that I picked up the Kors or Mirror by Kors perfume. So it's in collaboration with Comme des Garçons. And... I've been wanting this so much ever since like they released it. So initially, I think they only released it on the DSM website. I could be wrong. But anyway, for the longest time, I was trying to buy this perfume. But they wouldn't ship to Australia because like with perfume, it's a little bit more tricky in terms of like shipping and stuff. So they finally released it at the Comme des Garçons store here in Melbourne. And of course, I had to pick it up. So... I didn't even like bother smelling it. I pretty much just bought it online and did a click and collect because I already knew that I wanted it. And I attempted to buy another bottle just so I can keep it because you guys know I have like, you know, mild cause hoarding <laughs> tendencies and like literally anything cause I will want it. So this is what the bottle looks like. How cute is it? And then on the cap, 
I don't know if you guys can see, but there are the two little crosses here. I thought that is such a cute detail. So the retail price was 150 Australian dollars. And like I said, I bought it purely because it's koi. And I also really love perfume. Having said that though, the notes of the perfume is not something I would usually go for. I'll leave it on the screen right now. But first impression wise, like when you first spray it, it's definitely quite floral. I'm going to spray some now. Oh my god, no, wait. <laughs> my shoes are here. Don't get out of my shoes. Um, yeah, first impression wise, it is like quite floral. I think it may be neroli that's in here. Hold on. Let... <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I'm tasting the perfume. So the top notes are turmeric and neroli. Middle notes are powdery notes and orange blossom. Base notes are Sinfonite? What is that? Cashmere and benzoin. So every time when I read like perfume notes, I actually really enjoy perfume. Every time I read perfume notes, I don't really know what it means, especially with this like Sinfonite and benzoin thing. Like I don't know what it means. But the top notes are turmeric and neroli. And I guess turmeric sort of has like an earthy kind of a note. But I would say like first impression wise, it's definitely more on the floral side and not something I usually go for. I have worn this for a few days and it's... it's okay. <laughs> this is the worst perfume review ever. It's a unisex perfume, but it's more so on the floral side and definitely not something I go for. Normally I go for like either like very woody like more masculine scents or like fresh and like kind of sweet floral vibes okay so clearly i like all kinds of perfume <laughs> i have two different moods so this is different but i think it's quite nice for the spring and summer it is quite like a light scent so it's not like overly woody or like you know strong or musky even though there is like powdery notes in here i don't really get that I really just get like maybe the orange blossom and the neroli. Yeah, because neroli is like a flower as well, right? Um, but anyway guys, uh, that was like the worst perfume review ever. But if you guys are interested in picking it up, um, I think you should go for it. It is, like I said, quite floral, so keep that in mind. But if you love cores, I feel like you wouldn't even really mind what it smells like because the bottle itself is so beautiful and like I said I might end up picking up another one just so I can like keep it for I don't know I just want to keep it okay so yeah that is my Rickcores perfume pickup so right now I am gonna get changed so that we can go to supply store and get these course blazer. I'm so happy. I don't know what's going to happen in this vlog. I don't really have plans to like eat anything all that exciting. I actually really love like watching what other people eat in vlogs and like places that they go to. So I hope you guys enjoy the content where I'm sharing like food or the things I eat or like new places that I visit because I don't know, I thought it's interesting to show you guys because I I love food, obviously. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just going to get changed. I don't really know what like sneakers I want to wear today. Let me check the weather because... If it's raining, we are not going to wear any sneakers that has suede or nubuck. Um, but today it is mostly cloudy and top of 18. So it is sort of like a cool-ish day. So I guess I can wear any sneakers I want. So let me decide on my outfit and then we can go to supply. So on my way to supply now, it's just over there. And every time I come for supply, I feel like I want to get a donut at short stop, but We'll see, we might get one later, but like I said, I don't think I can vlog when I'm... Oh my god, why is it so bright? <laughs> I feel like the exposure is not right, but supply is here. Wait, here? <laughs> so I'm about to head in now, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so happy right now. So I picked up my like blazers in the purple colorway because I'm in such a great mood now. We should go get some donuts.
Thank you so much. Wonderful. See ya. All right, guys, I've made it home from supply. I'm so happy. And today I was carrying my little like cause human made bag and as you guys can see I'm wearing the t-shirt as well I feel like it may be a little bit too matchy matchy but because you know we're gonna pick up a course sneakers I feel I had to wear something course but I'm so excited for these so I haven't looked at them and I was just so happy when I went to pick up the sneakers and I feel like I was probably showing way too much enthusiasm <laughs> when I went to pick them up, like I kept telling the guys at Supply, I was just like, I'm so happy I won them. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Supply has a very serious kind of mood. Or maybe because I don't go there often enough. So every time when I go, it's mainly because I've won a raffle. So I just go in and I'm like, oh, I'm here to like pay or like here to pick up a pair of sneakers. And they're really nice there. Um, but today I was just like, so so happy for these i also got an iced coffee but i thought we'll quickly do an unboxing what's the time now it's 11 16 i actually have to go to the gym in a little bit but i thought i'll do a quick unboxing i actually also wait <laughs> i also ended up stopping at short stop because like i said every time i go to supply i just feel the need to buy a donut and I got an eggnog one. I've never had eggnog in my life. Like I've never tried it. I don't even know what it's supposed to taste like, but the eggnog pecan flavored donut sounded really good to me. So I got that. I might have that later, but probably not <laughs> right now because yeah, I have to go to the gym. So that's probably not like a good combo to eat a donut and then go to the gym immediately. But while we're here, let me stop rambling and show you guys the sneakers. The box looks so small. So I got it in a men's six and a half. Like I said, my true to size is a men's six, but I tend to prefer to go half a size up. And look at the box. I'm so happy. <laughs> and then on the inside with the paper, you guys can see there is the cores like branding as well. And then, ta-da! I love them! Okay, let me just take them out to show you guys. So, my favorite detail on the sneaker would definitely be like the coarse like imprint or what would you call this? Anyway, the coarse motive here. This is the purple dusk colorway and it is obviously a pair of blazer lows. And then on the tongue here, you can see the double tongue and it has the coarse branding as well. Don't look at my nails, they're <laughs> kind of gross at the moment. But, uh, I'm just so, so happy. Um, I haven't tried them on just yet. Later on in this vlog, I'm sure I'll give you guys a quick on feed or maybe I'll put together an outfit for these sneakers. But I'm just so happy. You guys know how much I've been wanting these sneakers and how much I've been talking about them ever since they like previewed images of them because you guys know. I love course. I love Brian so much. So I'm so happy to finally get these in hand. And I have to say the colorway is so, so nice. Obviously because it is a Sakai collab, we all know by now they have a lot of these layering details. But in terms of the colorway, I think they did an amazing job. And even though I haven't seen the others in person, I... I like all of them, okay? <laughs> the reed is definitely my favorite colorway because it just appears to be a little bit more wearable. It's not as bold and bright, but I can definitely see myself wearing all of them. I did pick up the Sakai, no, Sakai Blazer Lows, yeah. <laughs> the non coarse one, the green colorway. I picked it up earlier this year and I haven't really worn it. If I'm being completely honest, I prefer a pair of blazer highs than lows. But having said that though, the highs are so hard to put on. If you guys have a pair of blazer highs, you guys know you always have to like undo the laces and it is such a pain to like put the sneakers on or like take them off because you have to like really go in and like undo the laces. Um, 
but yeah, that's besides the point. I'm so, so happy. And then I'm just looking at the other sneaker now. The colorway is so cute. They do give you a set of like plain white laces if you guys want to swap them out. But I love the double lacing as with all the Sakai collabs. So there is a pair of like purple and yellow laces. And also on the Sakai website, they are selling this like sneaker accessory. So I think you can... Do you take out the laces or something and you can attach it here? I'll insert a photo. I don't really know how that works. But I think if you have the accessory, then you don't need the laces maybe. And then it becomes a zip up. I could be wrong, but I'll have to suss that out. It does look interesting. But I think they're only selling it at the Sakai store in Japan. I don't know whether they're selling it like online on the Sakai site. I haven't really looked into that. If you happen to live in Japan and if you'd like to be my Japan plug, please let me know because I would be interested in getting those like sneaker accessories. Um, also, I just noticed like on the inside of the sneaker, this is probably the worst b-roll, you can see the Sakai Nike and course like triple branding. So I guess yeah, this is another triple collab. Sakai has released so many different collabs this year and I didn't pick up any of the undercover um, LD waffles only because I feel like I have enough. I picked up the fragment one as well as the clot one so I was like it's it's enough LD waffles for me for now but these ones I just couldn't not wait i could not not get okay it means <laughs> okay what i'm trying to say is i had to get them i'm so happy guys i feel like i've been saying that this whole vlog like i'm so happy i'm so happy but like i'm genuinely super super happy about this i am so grateful that i won the raffle but yeah i'm excited to see the read colorway but at some stage in this vlog i'll definitely put them on feet to show you guys um, my camera is telling me it's running out of battery, so before it dies, let me quickly do a very quick taste test. This is my eggnog donut. I'll take a bite and then I'll go to the gym. Short Stop is definitely one of my favorite donut places here in Melbourne. And yeah, it actually tastes really good. It kind of tastes like cinnamon, nutmeg, that kind of a flavor profile. So is that what eggnog is meant to taste like? I don't know guys. Mm. Alright. My camera is dying. I have to get changed and go to the gym. I'll see you guys maybe later, maybe tomorrow. I don't know yet, but I have to go. So I finally tried on the blazers and I love how they look. So obviously you guys can see I paired it with these olive pants and I think the color combo works well. They look so good. I'm so happy. Sorry, I'm just trying to zoom out. My hoodie is of course from Nike. It is quite oversized. I got it a while ago. I realized that I don't have a lot of purple sneakers so I couldn't decide like what color to go with, especially with the pants, but I think they look pretty good with these olive pants. As usual, I'll try my best to link everything down below for you guys. And also, I just noticed with the sneakers or the laces, you guys can see that there is two different textures so one that's like you know a little bit more textured and this one is more tightly woven and yeah i think that's a nice touch but overall i love the colorway so much i really didn't expect to like this colorway that much but like i mentioned before i think out of the four colorways the reed would be my first pick but now that i have these on feet they're so cute i got back from the gym and took a shower so now my hair is looking like I don't know what's going on here, <laughs> so just disregard this and also you guys notice that there's a lot of sneaker boxes behind me because like I said, sneakers are taking over my apartment, um, but that's okay. But yeah, I just really wanted to quickly jump on here to show you guys, <laughs> what is this pose? To show you guys a potential outfit that I'll wear together with these blazers. Hi guys, it's me again. So I'm in the middle of editing the video or vlog. I guess you can't really call this a vlog because I didn't really go like anywhere all that exciting. But I thought 
we will end the vlog because yeah I rambled on for far too long and I feel like the video is getting a little bit long so I just came here to say thank you guys so much for watching so I still have my Kua Sakai blazers in front of me I realized that I didn't touch on sizing is this dirty I actually just did a quick on feet um, photo on my balcony so clearly <laughs> I need to clean my balcony because it's a little bit dirty um, but in terms of sizing I would say that if you have wider feet you should probably go half a size up now I do have my blazer lows in the like non coarse collab in my true to size which is a men's US 6 and they fit fine but I just find that it is a little bit snug around here for me I don't know whether it's because of like the way the midsole is constructed or maybe it's just like a more narrow sneaker so lengthwise I feel like because I went half a size up there is a little bit of room in the front but in terms of the width um, the 6.5 is good for me so hopefully that was somewhat helpful but yeah again I'm so so happy that I got these like I cannot express like how happy I was when like I won the raffle and especially being able to cop the read colorway on the course one side I was so surprised because you know at 4 a.m. in the morning <laughs> I don't know what I was doing I'm pretty sure once you check out it says thank you and there's like an order number and I was like <laughs> what <laughs> um, and also I want to give a big shout out to Craig thank you so much for sending those Pada MX ones to me I really really appreciate it you have no idea I think you completely read my mind and you knew that I wanted those sneakers so yeah thank you so so much um, yeah I cannot wait to wear them and you will definitely see more of those powder MX ones but yeah guys that is pretty much it for me today I am actually super sleepy because I've been up since 4 a.m. it's 6 p.m. now and I am planning on waking up 4 a.m. again tomorrow because the skims and Fendi collab I mean like the Fendi and skim okay it's the same thing anyway they are restocking like some of the collection and you guys know that I wanted some of the pieces and I wasn't able to get it during the first first I wasn't able to get it during the first drop because I didn't wake up so this time I'm ready so I guess now my new like wake up time is 4 a.m. so I'm planning to go to bed super super early because I find that after I wake up at 4 a.m. Like I'm so awake and I just can't go back to sleep. So I think I'm just going to start my day at 4am tomorrow. Um, but that's the plan anyway. So hopefully I'm able to cop some of the Skims Fendi stuff. I can't really decide what I want. Obviously I want so many things but I'm going to control myself and maybe just limit myself to like one or two items but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it really helps my channel and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys really really soon bye